Lesson 2 Vodcast, I will be discussing Trend Data 3. Today's students dig are digital natives, are accustomed to cell phones, computers, and the internet, which makes them much different from other generations, and they will need different skills for tomorrow's world. The field-based activity I chose to talk about was number two. What can you do as a teacher to prepare your students to acquire the skills they will need for future employment in global world and become more adept at civil discourse and dealing with disputes rather than being polarized. John Shinsky of Grand Valley State University and Hans A. Stevens of Alpena Public Schools state that we need to engage the community and prepare students to be productive citizens, employees, and leaders in the 21st century. School leaders must focus on equipping students and staff with the agree with the necessary skills to survive and flourish in the global society that is undergoing significant transformation. I agree with their statement. The classroom in which we are teaching is rapidly changing. Our students are entering into the classroom knowing more about technology than their teachers. They are able to find the answers to their qu any question within a matter of seconds. With the changing of our students' needs in classroom settings, so comes the changing of the work field. We are seeing a demand for those with the technological background and engineers. The question is, what can we do as teachers to better prepare our students for these types of jobs and settings? I feel the first step is to take your students to the computer lab or have them use their less costly method of using their de own devices. Akina Anthony states that less than 35% of teachers in the United States districts that received funding through the Enhancing Education Through Technology program have integrated technology in their instruction on a weekly basis. This is alarming considering they are giving grant money to buy technology and the teachers are hesitant or perhaps feel inadequate or that there is no time to use technology in the classroom. In order to be successful in implementing technology into the classroom, it needs to be built into your schedule so that you stay consistent and become more successful at using it on a weekly basis. Akina Anthony discusses how in her study, teachers who never used technology made great strides by implementing technology by integrating it into other subject matters such as having students participate in group studies where they were given a problem and had to work together as a group using the computers or their own devices as a resource in order to solve their problem. Then the students are to showcase their work using either a blog, wiki, or a digital video. All these skills are valuable assets that can be used outside of the classroom in real world settings. Sinsky and Stevens state that technology is an integral part of our daily lives and it is essential to the growth of educational systems and to our society as a whole. We as educators need to make sure that we are preparing our students to be collaborators and with all the different forums that we are that were previously mentioned with this we can do we can be successful at this. From these forums, they feel that our students are learning to be problem solvers while working collectively towards a goal. Thus, we are teaching our students to work as a team, which is pertinent within the workforce. The following video is of my field-based educator or my mentor, Ms. Mary Louise Morgan. She is a veteran teacher in my building and would not let me tell you how long she has been teaching. In the video, I ask her three different questions pertaining to the field-based activity. They are the following. What can you do as a teacher to prepare your students to acquire the skills they will need for future employment in the global world? Do you feel it is pertinent to teach these skills? And is it hard as a digital immigrant to incorporate these skills and technology into the classroom setting? What can you do as a teacher to prepare your students to acquire the skills they will need for future employment in a global world? I can give my students experiences on the computer, especially the internet, um, working on projects that relate to their classroom academics. 
I can help those who are weak in those areas. Um, any type of exercise that I can give them on there, I feel is beneficial. Do you feel it is pertinent to teach these skills? Yes, I do. As you said, for the future world that they'll be living in. Is it hard as a digital immigrant to incorporate these skills and technologies into the classroom? It is difficult, I don't think because I'm an immigrant, but because I am limited by the technology devices available to me. I don't have enough to give all children the time they need per day. Mrs. Morgan gave a different perspective to look from. She made some very valid points. She forgot, however, to mention that she does take her students down to the computer lab once a week to work on different collaborative projects together. She talk, later talked to me about how much the world of technology has changed in her lifetime. She states that her son is an engineer and is using technology and problem solving on a daily basis. It is very true what she says about our district not having too much to offer our students in different forms of technology. And we only get the computer lab once a week because of the way the schedules work out. However, I have, with permission from the principal, started to have my own students bring in their devices and add different educational apps and also I let them use their devices for the different group projects that are assigned to them. After reviewing the two sources from Annika Anthony and John Shinsky and Hans Stevens. In reflecting on what Mrs. Morgan has stated, I feel that my three teaching goals that I will focus on for this field-based activity is implementing more problem-based group learning activities that involve using technology in order to solve and present their information. This can be done by grouping the students and having each of them pick a problem such as, who is John F. Kennedy? The students will then use the computers to storyboard and collect data from the internet and also books. The students will then collaborate together to make a well-rehearsed digital video and present their findings on John F. Kennedy. A second goal would be to give the students a problem such as should illegal immigrants be asked to leave the country if they have children born in the United States. The students will then have to build a blog and present either for or against the movement. Students will again use the internet to research key points that they will use to post in their blogs to help win the debate. The final goal would be to help other teachers within my building utilize technology more within the classroom setting. I would like to collaborate with the principal and other teachers within my building to build a schedule in which every teacher must use the computer. We could brainstorm different ideas for different grade levels to use the computers. The teachers will then be held accountable for taking their students to the labs and working with them for a minimal of 30 minutes a week. Then we will come back together once a month and share our findings. This will help the digital natives at younger ages show and implement what they know about technology and also grow and learn more useful skills that can be implemented later on in life. Again, I feel that technology is definitely here to stay and that the more we incorporate it into our classroom setting, the more successful our students will be not only within our classroom, but also when they get out into the work field and um, out into the real world, they can use the same strategies that are used in the classroom on these field-based, these problem-solving activities. They can use those within the uh, workforce, and I think they're very, um, they're vital. I mean, we use them as teachers, so um, thank you for listening, and have a nice evening.